What is up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm. Today, it's kind of a sad day, happy day, kind of a weird mixed emotions day. Today, pretty sure we found a home for Mr. Floppy and maybe even Mama, the Mama we got left, which is back there. Um, they're, and actually, you guys, you guys probably know them. Uh, Mountain Heritage Homestead. They're about an hour and a half from me, somewhere around in there. And Haley hit me up and said, uh, we're interested in your boar if you're still looking for a home for him. I said, yeah, the last one just fell through, so I am. And uh, so, I mean, I'm happy that I I'm, I'm, can finally find a good home for him, but it's kind of sad to see him go. You know, I've raised him for three years now, raised him since he was six months old, Her, him and, and mama. I've definitely had more of a relationship with him, played with him like he, like he was a dog when he was younger. But at, at 700 pounds, 800 pounds, it's, uh, it's hard to play with him now. Uh, I do get in there and rub him still. He still loves his belly rubs. Um, but you guys still get to follow Floppy's progress and the babies he's going to be producing because they have a YouTube channel as well. So last night what I did, let me show you real quick what I did last night while he was passed out in his house like he is now. I pinched in his area really close. Just on the other side of his house is the electric fence running all the way out here. And then now I made a shoot this, uh, earlier today to where we can get him. Hopefully we can get the trailer. Let me just walk down that way. I don't know what kind of trailer they're bringing. I don't know if it's a back end trailer or side trailer. I'm not real sure. Um, but hopefully we can get the trailer at the end of this. We'll get him in this chute here and then hopefully get him up on the trailer. I don't know if I had a ramp. If it does, we have a board over, if it doesn't, we have a board over there we might be able to use. Mama's over there sleeping under her lean-to. And we'll see if they want her too. If they don't, that's okay. Um, we'll just go ahead and have to make a date for her to get processed. Uh, Cause uh, she's really, that's what she was for. That's she was for to make bacon. And then after she's done with that, she was going to get processed. So with her being hurt, or she was really hurt, like, like a month and a half, I think I told you guys, month and a half, maybe two months ago, she couldn't even stand up. Um, she's doing a lot better now, though. She can get up, she can walk around, she can move, but she has a limp on her back left side. So I haven't bred her back with Floppy again, but just because of that, her not being at 100%, him being a big boar, I don't want him to hurt her. So if Mountain Heritage Homestead wants her, absolutely they can have her. And if they have to get rid of her, if she doesn't get well enough to get bred, I completely understand. I'm just gonna ask them, oh bug. I'm just gonna ask them if they would invite us to a pork dinner in mama's honor. Just, you know, since I have raised her for three years, that would be really cool if they do take her, if they would do that for us. We would love to come down and have dinner with them. Um, if, if that's what it ends up happening with her So we're gonna walk we're walking back up to the house because they should be here soon So we're gonna walk around and uh, try to flag them down because sometimes it can be the directions the GPS Isn't quite right with everything. They said they'd be here about 2 o'clock and it's 155 so Anytime now anytime now Look at this beautiful mimosa tree guys sit under it nice breeze oh that feels good smells good too because of all the flowers and we'll just chill out for a few minutes till they get here we'll be back so as soon as mountain heritage homestead pulled in we went ahead and walked straight to the back and they do want mama pig which is awesome so we stopped and pick her up first. I figured once we get her on the trailer, Floppy would happily get on the trailer with her. So we back the trailer in, and what you're gonna see next is some of the shenanigans we had to deal with. Have fun. <laughs>
Okay, we have been trying to fight Mama for a good 15 minutes here. I slow it down, we get her close. We're almost about to get her up in the trailer and she says, nope, you like your door? Well, I don't. So she throws the door off the hinges. I throw the door back on the hinges real quick. Try to get her up in the trailer and she powers right through us. So I have no idea how much of that y'all saw. That didn't go as planned. Uh, Mama did not cooperate whatsoever, so we're gonna have to go with a totally different plan. And we're gonna feed her on the trailer for a week or so to get her up on up and off my trailer. And then we'll come back. Either do a trailer just trailer swap or we'll go and drop her off. Thank you, my man. So we got her sitting right there right now. She's pooped. We're pooped. Thank you, brother, if you just lay him right there. We're gonna try to get floppy. If that don't work, we'll do the same thing with him. We'll do uh, feed him on the trailer and then we'll get him <sighs> moved. <laughs> because uh, if she wasn't cooperating as much, I have no idea how he's gonna cooperate or not. All right, so we tried with floppy again. And he's just laying here, eating his apples. Being an 800 pound paperweight. So why are you being stubborn today, Flop Flop? All right, well, at least uh, Haley and Josh got to meet the pigs today at the minimum. And if you guys want to keep watching their progress, you can go to Mountain Heritage Homestead and watch Floppy and Mama, see how they're doing, keep, keep updates on them. Yeah, so we're going to have to put them on our trailer, feed them on our trailer for a little bit, and then uh, bring them up to them or trailer swap. Probably bring them up to him. Take make a make a day out of it. <laughs> what, buddy? How old is she? Two. You miss your apple? You're not getting it. Oh. <laughs> he's snappy. He's hungry. I hadn't fed him all day, oh, really? so he'd be hungry and hopefully follow a bucket. But he didn't want to follow a bucket. What you think, man? They'd be hungry. They'd just jump right in the trailer. I didn't feed him last night. Well, I, that was their breakfast this morning too. So I guess he just hadn't been hungry, or from yesterday morning. That was his breakfast. Didn't feed him last night. Didn't feed him today. I mean, they weren't even interested in the bucket when you brought it up this morning. You know? It had eggs in it, cracked eggs, boiled eggs, some of their favorite stuff. That's our plan for these. You gotta keep them. Breed them as long as you can. Well, he likes that. Yeah. He hasn't seen a lady in a little while. He's running. I was going to talk to him. That's perfect. We'll see. We'll see him then. We'll be on that way. So Josh and Haley are leaving without any pigs. That's them heading out right now. We weren't able to put the pigs on the trailer. They were just being too stubborn. They didn't want to get up there and you don't make a six to 800 pound pigs do what they want to do or do what they don't want to do. You just, that just doesn't happen. So the plan going forward is to feed them on our trailer. And then once we get them on the trailer, we'll bring them up to Josh and Haley. Oh, they said it's a lot cooler up there where they are too. So I'm looking forward to that. So go check out Mountain Heritage Homestead is their YouTube channel. Go check them out, tell them Hot Farm sent you, and let them know you're looking forward to their floppy and mama number one ex excursions. Bye y'all.